Bodybuilders, welcome back to Fitness and Health Tidbit Tuesday. We have two holidays under our belts, Halloween and Thanksgiving, of course, and we now have two more to go with our December celebrations and then, of course, New Year's Eve. Now, to help us stay on track through the remainder of the year, I invited Dr. Angie Brown from Real Life Runners to share her top tip on how to stay consistent through the holidays with your fitness and health. Dr. Brown is a running health and life coach who is also a doctor of physical therapy. She helps runners to run faster and longer without pain by learning how to train both the mental and physical side of running. She is on a mission to empower others to create a lifestyle of ultimate freedom and live an active lifestyle without limitations. And so please help me in welcoming Dr. Angie Brown. Hey builders, I'm so excited to be here with you today to share one of my favorite tips about staying consistent through the holidays, staying committed to your health and fitness goals. Because one of the biggest problems that I hear from people, especially during the holiday season, is that they don't have enough time to get their workouts in because their calendars are so full with so many other commitments and so many other things going on that they just don't have enough time for their workouts, for their health and fitness goals. And what I can tell you is that it's not about finding the time. You can't expect to find the time. You have to make the time for your workouts because your workouts and your health and fitness goals still need to be a priority to you if that's what's important to you, right? And so if they are a priority, don't expect to find time. You need to make time for those goals. And the best way to do this is by actually planning ahead and then putting that workout on your calendar and then sticking to it. When you see that workout, when you see that appointment on the calendar, think of it as an appointment with yourself. If you had a doctor's appointment or an appointment with another provider, you wouldn't just not show up, right? So why is it okay for you to not show up for yourself? When you make an appointment, when you put it on your calendar, you have to give it that same level of importance, that same level of priority as any other appointment that you might make. And then show up, get your workout in, you're, you're gonna plan ahead so you are already going to know what you're doing that day. And then you just show up, you get it in, and then you move on with the rest of your day, with the rest of the holiday season, right? So that you can make sure that you are making those workouts, making your health and fitness a priority during this entire holiday season. So I hope that you found that helpful and I wanna send you guys lots of love and light for your holiday seasons. I hope you guys have a blessed holiday. And if you wanna learn more about me and what I do and how I help people, you can follow me over on social at Real Life Runners on all platforms. And thanks again and hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Thanks, Angie. What a terrific tip. Builders, if you would like to reach out to Angie Brown or follow her on social, she may be reached at realliferunners.com and may be found on Instagram at Real Life Runners. Well, that is your Fitness and Health Tidbit Tuesday. I am Coach Becky, and this is Build Your Best You, your five-step building block process to rebuild your inner athlete. If you would like to hear more fitness and health tidbits from me or other fitness and health experts, then you know what you got to do. You got to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss any of these great tips, which I will see you in the next episode. Take care.